Hey guys, it's Crazy Pickle, and this is my first avatar tutorial, in this case for Bedazzling Akanida's avatar. Alright guys, let's get started. Akanida's battle area is the relatively small circular arena, surrounded by Gorgonite eggs, that will spawn snakes if they hit by any of Akanida's attack. Akanita brings up an energy shield that can only be destroyed by blowing up mines. When the shield is destroyed, Akanita loses a few spark particles, depending on a phase of the battle. Each character can pick up one spark particle from each destroyed shield, pick up three sparks particles to assume divine form. Akanita launches energy spheres at targets of her choosing, inflicts damage on impact. Akanita mounts the throne and brings up a shield that makes her invulnerable to attacks. The rotating pedestal of the throne has three laser cannons, damaging any character caught up in the laser path. The throne also generates an energy pulse from time to time, knocking all characters away. When Akanita get the Aether Armor effect, you need to destroy the shield with one of the mines, and you have two options. First, Akanita spins and destroys one or more mines. Second, Akanita stays near one of the mines and someone goes through the mine, the mine explodes and you get damage and Akanita drops a spark particle. In this phase, the characters land in arena and a few seconds later Akanita emerges from her throne. During this phase, Akanita only uses the ball lightning and her spin attack. Three God Spark Particles are dropped during this phase, enough for only one player to transform into their divine form. The God must destroy up to three purple snakes that binds and damage their fellow immortals, while the rest of the team must use mines that they have deactivated earlier in order to destroy at least one of the surrounding energy orb and create a safe zone. If the safe zone isn't created, the party will be wiped out. In this phase, Akanita will add a dash attack that targets a random immortal and knocks aside everyone in her way while also dealing damage. Six God Spark Particles are dropped. Only two players can transform into their divine form. The gods must destroy up to six purple snakes, two at the time, while the rest of the team must use the disabled mines to create a safe zone like they did on a phase one. Akanita emerges from her throne once again. In this phase, her attacks remain unchanged, but they are faster and more furious than before. Nine God Spark Particles are dropped during this phase, enough for three players to transform into their divine form. During this phase, God needs to focus on creating a safe zone, sacrificing the non-God party members. During this phase, Akanita emerges from her throne and recovers all of her missing health. After healing, Akanita gains the 60% damage reduction effect and engages the three gods from previous phase. 
20 seconds into the fight, Gorgonite patrol drones will appear on the edges of the arena and begin moving towards the center. The three gods will have a total of 60 seconds to eliminate Akanita. If they fail, the party will be wiped out. There is always a gap between the eggs, allowing you to aim safely when Akanita uses Ball Lightning ability. God Phase 2 and 3 The energy orbs you need to destroy to create a safe place spins faster compared to Phase 1, so only throw mines when it stops. Alright guys, hopefully this tutorial will help you a little trying to defeat Akanita's avatar. If you like this video, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe and activate notification that you won't miss new video I post. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at CrazyPickle7 and join my Discord server. Link will be in the description. Until the next time, take care.